Hello, Rambler fans, and welcome to the January 13th weekly wrap-up show. We'll start with the JV boys. JV boys uh, starting off their season 2-1. and one. All three games were conference games, beating Pine River and Everett. Uh, at the Pine River game on last Friday, Pine River running a zone defense, something that the JV boys hadn't seen before, uh, but they handled it quite well in the first quarter, shooting 33% from the field and 40% from the free throw line, finishing the first quarter 15-11 to 11 in favor of McBain. During the second quarter, almost all the points were made from free throws, shooting 1 for 12, around 8% from the field, and around 60% from the free throw line. And the score at the end of the second quarter was 23 to 21 in favor of the Ramblers. Halftime stats, Caden uh, Abrahamson leading the charge with six points, Trey Bovin and Avery DeRider having three points, Nathan Cucci, Carson Murphy, and Mason Renucci with two points. And rounding out the scoring column for the Ramblers was Brett Neeling and Bryce Acom with one point each. They shot 22% from the field in the first half, going 6 for 27. And from the free throw line, 7 for 15, around 46%. The third quarter shooting, they shot 4 for 24, so around 16% from the field, and 2 for 4 at the free throw line, so 50% from the free throw line. Your score after the third quarter was 33 to 29. And now for the fourth quarter, uh, McBain kind of went on a scoring run, shooting around 87%. Uh, tw had 21 points alone in the fourth quarter, 57% uh, 50 from the free throw line. McBain ended up winning the game 54 to 46. The final stats, Caden Abrahamson led the charge with 10 points, Carson Murphy right behind him with 9, Avery DeRider with 8 points, Aiden Cucci with 6, Trey Bovin and Nathan Cucci with 5, Mason Renucci with 2, and Brett Ealing and Bryce Acom with 1. Uh, one thing that the JV team did real well on is transition offense. You know, they, got, they got a lot of steals, and then once McBain got the ball, they had two, three guys flying down the court and looking back for the ball. And that also uh, brings out their turnover uh, margin, forcing the turnovers, uh, which brought them the transition offense. Uh, a re real good job from them. And now on to the varsity boys. So starting off their season 0-3, losing all conference games against Beale City, Everett, and Pine River. And again, Pine River was running that zone defense. In the first quarter, shooting 7 for 15, 46% from the field, uh, no free throws. It was actually a pretty clean game, or they were non-shooting fouls if there were fouls that game. Uh, 14 to 11 was the first quarter score. And second quarter, shooting 36 from the field, again, no free throws. So like you said, there was either no shooting fouls, or it was just, it was just a clean game. Score of the end of the second quarter was 22 to 14. Halftime stats... Evan Haverkamp uh, leading the charge for the Ramblers. Six points on the board. Uh, Brock Maloney next with four points. Calvin McGillis and Joe Winkle with two points. In the third quarter, they shot about 35% from the field. And again, no free throws were shot. And the score at the end of the third quarter was 29-25. to 25. Fourth quarter, shooting around uh, 50%. They didn't really take a lot of shots in the fourth quarter. It was a lot of moving parts and pieces with their offense. And, but they shot 50% 50, 50 I think they only sh took like six shots and I don't even think that. Them. Yeah, it, was, it, was it wasn't it was, a lot of shooting. There was a lot of turnovers in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Uh, shooting 60% from the free throw line. Fourth quarter was the only chance for McBain to get to the free throw line uh, in desperate measures at the end of the game. They uh, just needed a couple free throws, but a uh, few of them didn't go down. Final score, McBain falls to Pine River 38-39. to 39. For your final stats for the game, Joe Winkle led the charge for the Rainbows with 11 points, Evan Haverkamp with 10, Brock Maloney with 5, Kelvin McGillis with 4, and Dylan Schoner and Tyler Cucci with 2. One thing the varsity team uh, struggled with was too many turnovers. Now, both teams had a lot of turnovers that night, but 
McBain couldn't capitalize on the team turnovers they were getting from Pine River as much as Pine River was capitalizing on the team uh, turnovers they were getting from McBain. Yeah, just a lot of miscommunication on the floor for the Ramblers. Just a lot of mistimed passes and yeah, just all around uh, a lot of turnovers for both teams. Well, and some of uh, McBain's turnovers uh, kind of developed with Pine River's zone defense. Uh, McBain hasn't really seen a zone defense before in uh, the Beale game, Beale City game, or the Everett game, and so it was just kind of a new defensive setting that they had to uh, work around. Another thing is a lot of missed shots. Uh, you you can tell by the shooting numbers that uh, they missed a lot of shots. You know, you're 35 percent, 50 percent, 36 percent, low low percentage shooting numbers with a lot of misses. Mm -hmm. 54 to 46, the JV score, McBain coming out on top against Pine River, and 39 to 38, uh, the varsity score, McBain falling to Pine River, and now 0-3. I think this is the first time McBain's been 0-3 since at least 2005. At least that's how far our records go back. Upcoming games for the boys tonight. They are going to Houghton Lake and playing Houghton Lake. Uh, JV game starts at 5.30, so tune in. And now off to Michael Payne for the girls. Thanks, Christian. Welcome to this week's girls basketball recap. JV played Pine River on the 6th with a win, 74-11. Then Varsity played them and won 67-43. Emma Schierbeck had 30 points. Caitlin Budzin and Annalise Verdeen both had 8 points. They all, the whole team played good. On the 10th, the girls played Shepard. JV won 46-36. Varsity took a big, big win, 59-32. Callie Hooker had 12 points. Annalise Verdeen and Ella Schroeder, they both had 10 points. And Sydney Hooker had 8 Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.